Hey everybody, this is Rhino and we are back to Hearthstone. We're doing a live stream slash recording on Mother's Day and I've got very little news and very little things to do so we can just play. The good news, however, is I can play anything I want now, so let's just try a, pi a demon deck. Why not? Demon Renounce. We don't get to play that too often. Uh, I also have a ton of comments that came in. Uh, my bandwidth as I'm streaming is a major issue, so from going forward I'm going to have my chat actually on my cell phone network come in. So there's been a lot of comments since the last one I've seen it at, for the past ooh, at about 16 minutes. A new new guy named Not a Baseball uh, with a picture of a baseball is saying tiny community stream, I love it. Uh, Cthune Hunter. Uh, no, that wasn't a Cthulhu Hunter. Uh, uh, the Cthulhu was from Malkazar and underrated Gul'dan. answered that Gul'dan. thing. Uh, uh, buff Hunter. Uh, not a baseball GG, Rido. Have you ever played the old Yu-Gi-Oh games for PS2? Not PS2, but I have played old Yu-Gi-Oh games for Game Boy. Uh, and... I certainly did love some of those because of how you could win really quickly and do some crazy things with that. Uh, uh, misdirect would have kept you alive, especially at rank 20. Uh, you, you underestimate not a baseball. You, you underestimate how badly I can play Hearthstone. <laughs> because I can almost guarantee you if there's a will, I will lose. Uh, underrated says shame Madam Goya only pulled a 3-2 there were quite a few great targets in your deck such as the other four Malkasar legendaries that's one of the reasons why I play Malkasar I feel like even now that Malkasar has been out for a while you still kind of need it in your deck and like every single deck I, I don't have it in every single deck I have but I, I still feel like if you're trying to win, that's it. Uh, a new ca a new guy came in. Uh, well, no, he was uh, Detroit Tigers 2210. Uh, that's a funny name, Detroit Tigers 210. It's like he's he's expecting them to win in the year 210 <laughs> after after some global catastrophe when when the world ends and the time scale resets again uh, like after apocalypse we're, we're in uh, technically we're after uh, uh, AD or I think it's after common era they call it now uh, but BC AD type things uh, so Detroit Tiger said at underrated Hearthstone Luck Lowell. Have you tried the Tavern Brawl yet, Rhino? Yes, I have tried it. I don't know if I played all the characters. I might so try it again as I've got nothing better to do. Uh, let's see. Uh, we've just got a little bit more. Yeah. A little bit more news to go through and then uh, if I people want to continue commenting or if people want to send me friend requests uh, look here's a friend request we can accept and at the end uh, of this game we can start playing those too uh, as far as news Alan Wake is disappearing tomorrow uh, due to expiring music licenses on Steam so it's 90% off if you ever wanted to own or play Alan Wake. You kind of need to buy it now. I guess you get into a weird issue there where uh, two days from now if somebody wants to play that game and it's not available for anybody to purchase then it uh, arguably is just abandonware and and I would not really look down on somebody for pirating it, but uh, if you ever want to see another Alan Wake, I think supporting the company uh, 
is a good idea and getting it on sale. It, it's also very strange that the music license would ever expire, but that's certainly what happened with all the Rock Band games and why you don't see like games like Rock Band just immediately ported to the next version is because there's all of these music license that they signed up with and that they can't they didn't have in perpetuity uh, i assume now nowadays in modern times people know to negotiate better than that and you do have like 100 years license i don't know if you can actually make a license that goes beyond 100 years and it be valid i i think in my business law class it they specifically said that a contract cannot go beyond a hundred years, but at the very least, if it went a hundred years, there's a decent chance that any music license past that point would be a uh, free domain anyways, unless Disney gets its way. Uh, there is a rumor, or uh, according to the movie producers of the Thief movie, there's a new Thief game in development. I don't know if I really believe that, though, because here you had, uh, most recently, what's the name of that game? Uh, Dishonored 2 came out most recently, and uh, because Dishonored 2 was this unfinished game that needed a ton of patches and such uh, it i don't think that there's like a thief that arcane studios was working on in the same thing and i, I think the makers of dishonored are the same people that made thief so if there is a new thief game and it's not made by the same people uh, the, then it gets a little bit more iffy whether that game is going to be good or whether it's just going to be this movie tie-in i also kind of Having not played the Thief series myself, uh, I, I'm not sure if there's room for a game where you're solely a thief and you're 100% forced into, uh, I enjoy in, into focusing only on stealth mechanics. I just don't, I don't know if there's something like that. Dishonored had a lot of maneuverability and magic abilities and if you screwed up in Dishonored uh, you could just go for the high chaos solution and personally when I played Dishonored 1 I ended up doing high chaos no matter what even trying trying to go low chaos so uh, so yeah I'm not sure I really believe that a new thief would be good or that it would be worth doing uh, let's see busting open things cold breezy uh, people can send me requests I guess I'm not going to uh, just challenge this person because I don't think this was the person I just friended was it uh, so people send me challenges if at this point if they want me to play I've already done four of these but I'll I'll try I'll try some more warlock things since I just need to do damage uh, there was a Dark Souls 3 patch that adjusts multiple weapons I, I kind of feel like doing adjustments after the fact in Dark Souls feels a little unfair for people uh, that again is one of those games where I'd want the I'd want it to just always be right this is that that tavern brawl where you just got a bunch of shifters there so this will be interesting probably won't work uh, Rainbow Six Siege has delayed season two to focus on fixes another game that uh, this one's Idols of Azeroth, the 45th Brawl, April 12th, 2016. Uh, I don't know if I really believe this either. I think Rainbow Six Siege was thrown out as a game that was almost assuredly going to fail no matter what. And uh, because of that, 
uh, there there wasn't really much of a chance. It didn't feel like it had enough maps. It didn't feel like uh, it didn't have a story mode. It, it entirely survives only on other people playing with you and having a good team to play with you. The concept of of being this SWAT team that's trying to take uh, uh, secure a, a bad situation where p bad guys have set up bombs and taken hostages is My cool reading. but um, Job's done. but it, it didn't do anything amazingly interesting so this opponent is has 30 raven idols and I have just a bunch of random cards. Uh, so I really wouldn't be surprised for a second if actually instead of delaying season 2 to focus on fixes they're actually just canceling season 2 in total. Uh, which also Hitman is in jeopardy of that happening now because the IO Interactive is up for sale. Uh, I was a little surprised to hear that a reheated quote-unquote version of Street Fighter 2 is coming to the Switch at the end of the month. I could certainly see it working pretty well. Having a fighter game on the Switch uh, probably would work alright, although who knows with those controllers how things are actually going to play. Hmm. Go ahead and draw another card. Hmm. Uh, the Civ 5 lead designer John Schaefer has joined Paradox Entertainment. That's nothing really special to say about that other than uh, people move around. And then Payday 2 has evolved into its final form to uh, include all the free and paid content, which... I think represents the creators of that game finally getting the game in the format that they wanted it in originally versus them being forced to try and sell people uh, a lot of extra DLC and just rip off people in total in general. So finally years later almost, it feels like Payday 2 might be a game worth playing um, in the ultimate version and I haven't seen anything come up on chat since 4.55 and it's 5.09 right now uh, central time so I wonder why people comment with the at sign. I guess it's the best thing you can do in chat. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, but it doesn't re-reference, as far as I can tell, the the person you're you're talking to or reply to him. Or I don't know if it gives notifications to the people that somebody commented on your comment. Time hmm. waits for no one. I don't know if it's because I'm specifically live streaming right now, but for the first time ever, when you search, when I search Rido, R Y D O, in YouTube, my channel is the first thing that comes up. For a very long time, it's a video where, of a guy who just also calls himself by that name. And. Uh, I've far surpassed that one video on that channel. Uh, what was this? Return a friendly minion to your hand. Okay. Drink with me, friend. That minion a turn to get ready. Hey, catch! Uh, so, I'm rather happy to to finally be the first result there. I kind of deserved, I, I felt, to be the first result when you search Rido anyways, but uh, it takes YouTube a while for it to fix anything. YouTube is changing in the way its desktop interface looks, and it doesn't allow me to 
to on the new interface see how subscribed viewers and unsubscribed viewers see my channel differently like the old system did but the new interface does look a lot better uh, so uh, YouTube giveth and YouTube taketh away uh, as they typically have a tendency to do uh, God, they fell off the let's truck. see let's play this play this play this and this and that leaves me with nothing else to talk about so we are going here for another recording we've got about I'd say 13 minutes 13 minutes to make a proper 30 minute recording uh, do I have a demon Let's see deal five damage to a minion What happened there? Oh, whenever that one die deals damage, it I summons demo. one of these. Go and draw a card. Job's done. So yeah, in the next 13 minutes, if nobody has, if my chat's not gonna show up any more chat. Let me switch it back to Wi-Fi and see see if just switching back and forth. Uh, Detroit Tigers has subscribed to my channel. Thank you for subscribing. I need as many subscribers as I can get. Uh, my channel, in a lot of ways, is is I'm super happy with the number of views. I'm almost up to 200,000 views, but I'm kind of un unhappy with the it's been about two years to get to that, and uh, and the deal four damage. Discard a random card. Let's see. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. That was stupid of me. Uh, I kind of wish my channel would get a lot more subscribers. Uh, ideally, I'd want to have a thousand to uh, ten thousand subscribers to even feel like this is a channel that has a chance to start getting things. Now, on that, I also need those subscribers to actually watch videos because the way my channel works is uh, for budgetary reasons and for timing reasons. Uh, I do retrospectives of old games. I try to find reasons. For instance, today's Mother's Day. There should be pretty soon a Mother's Day based, kind of awfully pun based Mother's Day game that airs in, in my point and click series, which is the second time slot. My first time slot is kids games right now and hopefully it continues to be kids games, mostly Lego games. And uh, and then my point and click slot right now I think is Broken Sword but it should be finishing Broken Sword pretty soon here. I could have won here. By the way if I had not lost that card that destroyed two. But, Uh, so, so yeah, that time slot is is gonna have a a Mother's Day series that's really an awful Mother's Day based game. It's it's really hard to find a game to play for Mother's Day, honestly. And uh, in similar ways, I'm going to have kind of an awful reference to Father's Day. Uh, next month, whenever Father's Day is, around then. Uh, but 
it's hard to find Father's Day games. It's it's hard to find games that have a mother or a father in them at all. A lot of times when you're talking kids' video games, you don't want the parents. The kids don't want the parents involved, anyways. Uh, but after my point-click adventure game time slot, I'm I have one or two other time slots that in the next couple of months are going to only be really focused around uh, playing Borderlands and Bioshock Infinite and uh, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood uh, so this I think squeezing three shooter AAA style games of, well Assassin's Creed isn't a shooter but it's going to be some big, big ticket older games. Uh, Borderlands 1, by the way. Um, the, I'm just trying to get those done. At a certain point, I wanted to also introduce a second Halloween. Uh, I'm just going to wait one turn and not play these because there's no reason to. Uh, just to play more horror games uh, where I I would want to do that somewhere around the fifth month uh, May the 4th be with you is as I'm airing several Star Wars game a couple Star Wars games right now to celebrate that still uh, I always take like a a one day holiday in a month has to be a month's worth of content because it takes me about a month to cover games if I schedule things right uh, so all of that gets back to my channel though and how every Monday through Friday there's it's like a TV channel it's like five or six primetime style uh, videos that I'm releasing and if you don't if you miss them you can always go back and see them via the playlist but uh, deal three damage to all other characters this might work. Let's see if this works. Deal this much damage to all enemy minions. I don't have enough in the turn. Um, so yeah, because it's like a TV channel and there's something, a new video every Monday through Friday. I, I want more subscribers. I want people to actually watch those videos. I want people to go back to playlists and watch some reruns as they are. Uh, budgetary reasons, I, I really, and, and just scheduling reasons, I really couldn't just stream a brand new game as it come, came out. I could do that probably for a few of them, but... I'm not sure it would get me that many extra views. I've just gotten into streaming Hearthstone because it's free and it certainly has helped my channel a lot more than I thought it was going going to. It's gotten me a lot more views on Hearthstone videos. Uh, it's actually rather laughable. Uh, like the pre-recorded versions of Hearthstone usually only get six views where if I just stream it live YouTube so much more promotes that that it a live stream by default gets 30 so you're, you're talking a five times increase in views and 30 views is still not the 300 that you kind of need for a YouTube video to be considered a, and important by YouTube because that's what what their old uh, number was is if you don't get 301 videos we don't even care and there's a lot of the YouTube drama and the ad apocalypse and all of that that's slightly concerning me but not really affecting me if uh, if anything my ad revenue for every uh, I think the last seven days I got seven uh, 80 cents uh, my my revenue is is only getting more and more uh, uh, increasing more and more but but it's it's certainly also not big enough that I could actually live off of it nobody 
uh, nobody in the United States can live off 80 cents a week and the way YouTube pays out is you have to make $100 anyways before you get it so I'm looking at getting a paycheck probably somewhere near December from YouTube uh, and I would like to I would like to severe significantly scale up and I think he has refilled my life twice now uh, I, I would like to get if I got a hundred dollars a week that would be four hundred dollars a month that's not really still enough to live off of uh, if you have any bills but it certainly would be a major improvement of what I'm currently having and, and with more subscribers maybe I would do a patreon thing and just, just turn off all ads on my channel I would be more than willing to do that but I, I still need to grow my audience and I'm a hundred percent right now focused Answer on just growing the audience and getting more subscribers and trying my best to do uh, do the best work I can potentially do let's see adapt a friendly minion I gotta get this one to do taunt I suppose hmm and then do I want to hit this and kill it? Potentially, yeah. This would be funny if I if I actually win. So yeah, my goal is I I am gonna get to two hundred thousand views. I don't feel like there's that's gonna trigger anything in YouTube. I feel like live stream has worked a lot better, but I can't live stream all the games I'm covering because it it just wouldn't work. You are not uh, plus I wouldn't have enough bandwidth to up upload things later in better quality I wish YouTube would allow people or uh, specifically just allow me to replace live streams with better versions of the same video but they would need some kind of algorithm that they obviously don't have or don't want to use that would uh, Give a demon plus three plus three. Do I have a demon? Do this. I enjoy watching you die. Deal one damage. Draw a card. There we go. Hmm. If I got up to a million views, that would be nice too. But I, I'm not sure that really helps anything. I know at like a hundred thousand, well, uh, they've sent me emails and said congratulations on a hundred thousand views, but they've never given me like a Google Play button. I think you have to get a hundred thousand subscribers or ten thousand subscribers before you even get to that. And I, I would like to earn one of those. Part of this, uh, I'm in a very weird situation in which uh, I can't really leave my house uh, because I'm taking care of a disabled family member. And so, so part of doing this channel is also just about having something to put on a res resume. So I could probably trick a decent number of of job recruiters into thinking that a YouTube channel with 200,000 views is something that uh, is bigger than what it it normally would be. Oh, I'm totally out of cards. It's time for me to lose. Destroy a demon, restore five health. Oh, I could have done that a while ago. Hmm. Uh, but I would definitely like to see my channel succeed and this be my career for the rest of my life too um i don't particularly feel like i have to get to the point where i'm making anything more than a average a living wage at the channel it would be nice if tomorrow i got a million 
dollars worth of ad revenue and then I would be set for the rest of my life and I could just say well I'll just turn off ads and and we'll just do this for fun that takes a lot of stress off of it but if it if it's just a living if it just gets up to a living wage for till I hit old enough hit the point where I could like retire in old age I'd be fine with that and I don't know what I would do in my retirement that's too different from what I'm doing now is, uh, I enjoy playing video games even though I often act like I don't uh, let's see well as it goes, if I don't get any challenges, this is gonna, well, this is gonna be the recording, the end of the recordings right here because I'm kind of just talking to nobody. I don't know what happened to the chat. We had this nice chat going on until like 4.55 and nobody's, uh, I, I'm not seeing any new comments and I'm doing everything I, I can try to, to do to, to see it. Hmm. So I don't know if people got bored and left or if my internet messed up. I suspect my internet messed up somehow. Let's see, can we turn this around? This is a long tavern brawl, but how many more cards does the opponent have? He has like eight cards. The weird thing here is if he's, since he's just toying with me, uh, I could, oh, he's just getting the same spell over and over again with the Raven Idol. I, I could actually win here. Hmm. I It's not really a terrible thing if this ends up being a shorter stream. I have more work to catch up on and I'm further and further behind. Uh, I'm at danger of ending one, one of my time slots right now because uh, uh, just not having enough the time to actually get it done. I'm gonna lose them in the, no matter what at this rate. Uh, because even if he refills me to 30, if, I, if I've if i drawn so many extra cards that it does 30 damage to me, it's it's still gonna... It'll go down as the the largest amount of fatigue ever taken in history of Hearthstone. Uh, uh, but I had a temporary time slot after my late night time slot that uh, I was covering Honey Pop which is a sex puzzle jewel matching game all combined and dating sim game and that was rather popular as considering it was just a goof of a of coverage but that time slot was never intended to stay it, I I was simply doing a Chinese New Year videos so covering some of the Mahjong games that were available on Steam and the ones I covered worked very well and then uh, and then it moved into Valentine's Day and I thought as a goof for Valentine's Day I would I would play a dating sim game and that one particular game didn't have that much that needed to be censored to be acceptable on YouTube so I went through the extra work of doing that and that took a lot of my time and helped cause me to fall behind a little bit even before I had the cold for a week and fell behind even more so things are adding up bad decisions. But I was hoping that I might have enough extra time to continue that time slot uh, but and play Bayonetta, but 
no, it's not gonna happen. Uh, that, that's it. That that one's done. It'll come back next year at Chinese New Year. Well, I'll p probably play My some more. To you. Uh, play some more Chinese slash Japanese games. It's it's hard to find any Chinese games that that I can play that are in English uh, on Steam. So if you know any suggestions there, and then in after Chinese New Year, I will want to do something for Valentine's Day, and it's hard to find anything that's romance-based or, or related to Valentine's Day in any way. And so if there is another sex slash dating game out there that doesn't have that much to censor, I could try to play that. Uh, I suppose Lady Killer in a Bind might be one of those ones to think about, but uh, but I don't know if I really want to play that. So we're done and because my chat's not working and because the only person that seems to be online is Loki and while Loki would probably love to play me he seems to also not have realized that I'm streaming, otherwise he would be chatting up a storm right now on the uh, comments. So, thanks to all the new people that that dropped in and saw uh, the stream. We have Gabriel, we have Travis, we have Underrated1, we have Not a Baseball, we have Detroit Tigers 210. That's a pretty big variety and a decent amount of comments that I could see and I probably will realize that there's a bunch of other comments later so sorry if you said something or asked something uh, one person did see say something that I didn't fully respond to uh, Megasaur over Corrupted Seer in this Murloc deck so Murloc 3 attack so he would he's saying instead of playing this one use Megasaur which is let's see, Megasaur which gentle Megasaur to adapt to your Murlocs. Um The reason why I don't think I wanna do that is because Except with the exception of Knife Juggler, which I just put in as an experiment, this deck is a hundred percent Murlocs, and that's what I was going for is a quest if you get a daily quest to play Murlocs. Plus, this does an area of effect where this is just gonna uh, increase my Murlocs to a small amount that I don't really think my Murlocs need to be adapted, honestly. So, uh, I like it as it is, but you might be right. I mean, I am a pretty bad Hearthstone player. Let's look at the shop. See if anything's disappeared lately. Um, well, nothing's disappeared lately, and nothing's been threatened to gotten rid of. But, you can see these solo adventures are gone. Except for One Night in Karazhan, and uh, there's a special now if you win 10 games you'll get one of the faces but the other faces here are ten dollars each i don't see any reason why anybody would want to pay that so things have disappeared but nothing new is is gone i wouldn't be surprised if in the next year we see solo adventures completely disappear and you're not able to play it at all even if you own it i, w I wouldn't be surprised uh, well that's it for this stream thanks for watching as always i ask you to like share subscribe click the bell to get notifications next to the subscribe button comment down below and watch every second of my videos because all of that helps me with youtube tells them that my videos are worth watching if you want to friend or follow me on facebook twitter tumblr google plus or steam there's a bunch of links down below in the description box that will take you to that. So please do follow and friend me on that. That gives you a backup and lets you follow my, vi see when my videos come out on whatever platform you, you happen to be watching on and keeping your eyes on. And then 
finally check out my website, check out those playlists. I've got over 4,000 videos, so there's a lot of games I've covered, a lot of interesting stuff there, hopefully. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a good evening. Bye.